We're back. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Cap again with another BR draft. That's right. This time we're going to be drafting the God Squad draft. That's right. We're going to go back to the best teams that we can. I don't know what else to say. Our last draft was E. So we got to, you know, get some better teams, players, better pitchers. Uh, off the bench bats, you know what I mean? So uh, without further ado, let's get right into this draft. Do I want to spend 1,500 stubs? Yes, I do. Let's go. And uh, all right, not bad, not bad. Uh, I like Devers. Never used them before, though, or barely, if I remember. Wagner is a solid uh, bullpen piece. All right there. Ooh, you know who I got to pick. Vlad Jr., baby. He's going to be a third common pitcher. You already know. All right, another common pitcher. Let's go, let's go. Ooh, hmm, not the best round. Uh, VR is nice, but the feeling is horrendous. Ellsbury, weak arm. I'm going to go with Max Muncy. Jock. I wish you were on my Angels, man. I wish. But uh, Jock is in, uh, most likely an Angel at this point because uh, now Jeter Downs is going to Boston. And uh, that means the Angels and uh, Dodgers trade goes no more because... Since it's a different trade from the original proposed trade, no more Jock or Stripling in Anaheim. So that's uh, that's a rest in peace to the dream. All right, right here. I think we're going to go with Tatis. I mean, Stiff Finley is nice, but I don't want another lefty. You know what? Why not? We'll take Finley. Ooh, Reddick or hey, Reddick's nice, but then Severino, though, you know? So I'm going to go with Severino. Nice, good catcher. Uh... One more lefty to solidify the pen. I'm going to go with Oliver Perez right there. Oh, well, Smith is nice, but I don't want another lefty. That would be four lefties. We're going to take Kevin Bisher right there. That fills up the starting lineup. Two spots left. Okay. Trinan, how do I do with him? Eee, not the best. Baez, pretty good. Leclerc, eh, not bad. Givens, not bad. We're going to take Pedro Baez. Last spot is going to be the diamond around, baby. That's right. Accompanying Billy Wagner. Who is it going to be? Is it going to be Hendricks? Uh, not bad pitches. I like Maeda's. Ronnie. What? He's actually not that bad. Now I'm thinking about it. And uh, Naris? No. No way Naris is going to be taken. So we're going to be taking. Hmm. Yeah, let's go with Maeda. Maeda's going to be taken there. All right. First. Or actually last gold round. Let's see. What do we need? We need a first baseman, a shortstop. Um, that's basically it. A first baseman and a shortstop. Or unless I put Jock at first, then I need a left fielder and a shortstop. Actually, I wouldn't mind taking Justin Smoke. How do I do with Smoke? Eh, not bad. Okay. Devers. I don't want another lefty, though. Um, I mean, Gold, Goldschmidt is nice, but I mean, I don't want a gold first baseman. But then again, that's where Smoke comes in, you know? Oh, man. I mean, Lorenzo Cain's nice, uh, but not really hitting-wise. Great defense, no arm. You know what? We're just going to go with Justin Smoke. He's going to be playing first. Uh, I also need a shortstop. Bob Bichette, that's where your name comes in. We're going to take Bob Bichette right here to play short. And, uh, the oh, <laughs> why you got to give me Sano like that, man? And then right there, Puig as well. Oh, man, I think I'm going to have to go with Miguel Sano here. I mean, I mean, let's see. Just Smoke has to start. He's a goal. I guess Sano will probably be a bench bat. I'd be fine with that. And the uh, last two rounds are going to be bronzes. Uh, let's see. I, I wouldn't mind. Uh, I think I already got a speedster with Avellino, so which means I'm going to take Ted Williams here against uh, righties. And let's see here. It's most likely going to be Will Myers against lefties. Yep, 10 for 22. We're going to be taking Will Myers. That's going to be the team, guys. I just drafted them, and let's see how the lineup turns out. All right, guys, I just put the lineup together. Here's how it looks. Leading off, playing first base is going to be Jock Peterson. No more, not even an angel for maybe like three days, and now he's, uh, he's going to stay a Dodger. It's what it looks like. He's going to be playing left, and he's going to be my leadoff hitter. Batting second, playing first base is going to be all-star Justin Smoke. He's going to be there. Uh, three for six. I think he's pretty much got a grand slam to his name. Uh, I know he's a good card. I haven't used him a lot. Let's let's see if he could crush some for me. Max Muncy is going to be my second baseman. He's going to be batting third. 
Look at that. 7 for 17. I forgot I played with this card, mainly because his finest came out. And uh, then again, I haven't really used Max Muncy a lot, so he's going to be there. The GOAT, Vlad Jr. He's going to be batting cleanup for me, even though he is a silver. Small sample size, 4 for 7. He's going to be batting fourth, and he's going to be accompanied by his teammate, Kevin Biggio. He's going to be batting right after Vlad Jr. He's going to be playing right field, most likely 13 for 36. Pretty good player. And you know who's going to be batting after him? That's right. Another teammate. He is known as Bo Bichette. You know, Kevin G.O.D. would be proud of me, man. Kevin G.O.D. would see I took three Toronto Blue Jays, the future of the franchise. They're all hitting back to back to back right after each other. He's going to be playing shortstop for me, batting seventh or sixth. He's batting sixth, actually. Steve Finley is going to be batting seventh for me here. He's a great lefty contact hitter. I'm hitting 14 for 37. Yeah, 14 for 37, so 378 average, and trust me, that's pretty good. And he could get on base. Not bad fielding-wise. Great contact hitter. He's going to be batting seventh for me. Finally, batting 8th will be Pedro Severino. He's going to be batting after Finley, and he's a great hitter against lefties because look how I'm batting with him, man. 481. I am 13 for 27, just under 500. And look how he's batting. He bats better versus righties than lefties. He's batting 563 against righties and, of course, 364 against lefties. The bench is going to be consisting of Neil Walker, a good switch hitting uh, utility player. Abiadol Avalino, he's going to be most likely the pinch runner of the team. Big power bat, Miguel Sano, he's going to be crushing it. He's most likely going to be the bench bat off the bench. Bench bat off the bench, yeah, that makes sense. Ted Williams, he's going to be against righties most likely because he does. This is the uh, veteran card. He smacks well against righties. And finally, it's going to be Will Myers. He clearly hits off better against lefties. And pretty much Will Myers and Ted Williams are going to be sharing the spotlight together. The bullpen is going to be crazy, man. It's going to be taken over by this guy right here, Billy Wagner. He's going to be the closer for our team, and he's going to be accompanied by another diamond by the name of Penta Maeda. He's going to be the other relief pitcher, most likely a setup man. Even though he has great stamina for a reliever, he's most likely going to be the setup man. Great numbers. Never used them before. We're going to hope for the best here. Two silver arms are going to be helping them out with uh, most likely bullpen duties are going to be Pedro Baez, another Dodger, a team, a former teammate now since Maeda is now a Minnesota twin. And Oliver Perez, a great lefty, funky delivery, 318 ERA and 11.1 .1 innings or 11 and a third innings. Not bad. Well, I like him, especially with his windup. Even he gets righties and lefties out. So you know what? That's a pretty good bullpen. Four great arms. That's going to be closing out the team. All right, guys, well, there's nothing much to do than to uh, get into our first game. All right, we're going to be the home team. He's going to be the LA Pilots. He has Bench, Kemp, Bryant, Blackman, Bell, Hanley, Yastrzemski, and Zobers. Wow, he wasted all of his good players in his lineup, so he better hope to produce some runs. All right, Josh Rogers is going to be pitching for me here against Johnny Bench. He's going to be the leadoff hitter. Misses that pitch, but you know what? Let's uh let's be careful here because it is Johnny Bench, you know. And um, um well uh that didn't go as planned, so we're gonna be bringing in Pedro Baez here. He's gonna be the first guy off the bullpen. He's gonna be pitching to Matt Camp. On deck is KB. We got to be careful here because he already has a leadoff home run. But Finley's going to be there making the first out. Two and two count to KB. You know he can't hit those up and in fastballs. There we go. We get him a strikeout there. Now he has Blackman up. One and two. Come on. No. Well, that wasn't a good swing. But you know what? Jock's going to be there. And we end the top of the first. Now it's time for us to get a leadoff bomb. Jock Peterson is now up for us. He's hitting over 300. He has a pair of bombs with us. Come on. And he adds another one. Boom. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what I was trying to say right there. I just thought of the first words that came to my head. But there we go. Jock with his big old meaty. Yeah. All right. Justin Smoke is now up. Your turn, man. Join the party. And just like that, he joins the party. Justin Smoke bringing the smoke. Another solo blast. No doubter. Back to back. Jimmy Jacks. 
And now it's Max Muncy's turn. Max Muncy hits a deep to center field. And it is caught at the wall. Warning track power quoted by the one and only Shelfie. Uh, Max Muncy just missed it, man. He got under it. Now it's time for the Toronto Blue Jays' turn to swing it with the sticks. First off, we got Vlad Jr., baby. He's up now. Vlad Jr. gets it started with a foul ball. And Vlad Jr. is going to be starting it off with a fly ball to left center. Matt Camp tracks it down. Uh, all right, well. There's one guy who's next, and it is Kevin Biggio. That's right. Vlad just got under that, man. I was pretty upset right there. Vlad flies out to left. Got a good piece of it. Now let's see if Kevin Biggio can get it started now. He goes to the pause menu. You're most likely going to bring in a lefty. So I guess he isn't bringing in a lefty. It looks like Biggio is going to have some fun right here. He's going to be getting a single. He dives with Blackman for some reason. And uh, we're on base. And it's now down to the last of the three future of the Blue Jays. Bo Bichette. Let's see if he can get on base as well. Come on. Oh, that's it. deep to left field. That is going to be caught at the warning track. So Biggio comes up with the hit, but Bichette and Vlad don't. But you know what? Two runs is better than no runs. So now we got the lead. Josh Bell is now up, and he crushes righties, and that's exactly what he did. He gets a leadoff single. I think it's time to get the pen warmed up. Before we do get the pen warmed up, we're going to be pitching to one more hitter right here. We're going to be pitching to Hanley Ramirez. This is the hardware card. He does hit better off of lefties and righties, so Baez is going to be most likely your last hitter. Let's just hope to get a little play ball. He is fast, but we got to make it faster. Well, my opponent wasted his time, so you know what? That's going to be the end for him. He took way too long. I gave him plenty of time, but you know what? Only one can run out of patience for so long. So, see ya. All right, that's going to be it for me, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up for the squad please give it a thumbs up comment down below what be our draft ideas or what you guys think of these videos obviously be don't be afraid to comment down below and as always subscribe to the channel it is very much appreciated here we're uploading a lot and we're just hoping to be one of the next big youtubers here by playing i'm gonna be the show that's gonna be it for me guys i hope you enjoyed and i'll see y'all later Thank mm -hmm. you.